in continuous disbelief that people take this show as ugly. What the heck? Bob's Burgers Season 14, Episode 9, Fraud of the Dead Zombie Docupocalypse dropped last week, and, uh, I mean, yep, that was another really, really good one. Continuing this season's tradition of being really experimental and really stylistic, this is a stylistic experimental episode with a really unique framing device that also has a lot of heart and forwards Louise's ever-present character arc that is always growing, yeah. And on top of all that, it's also kind of a sequel to the <laughs> Walmart episode last season. That was a good episode. This episode has the super unique framing device of being filmed like a documentary because it's a mockumentary that Louise is making that's telling the story of her fighting zombies during a zombie apocalypse with her Walmart bow and arrow. So let's get this out of the way first. This is the best episode of Bob's Burgers from a visual perspective, like by far. The amount of camera movement and unique angles and everything, it, it all just looks so good. And look, uh, Bob's Burgers is a great looking show, don't get me wrong. It, it, I think it looks great, but it definitely sticks with the very like standard sitcom format most of the time. But this? No, no, no. This cannot be compared to those other shows anymore. This is its own level. Plus there's a lot of good expressions, so many cute little touches adding to the homemade movie feel with the dead bodies being replaced by dummies at the end and the zombies makeup like not covering all their skin. It's just, it, it's just, it's top notch. This is a top-notch episode. Okay, we need to talk about something though, right? I mean, this episode's so visually great and... Uh, hey, you know what? That's not a bad topic. Bob's Burgers is one of the best looking animated series out there right now. But for some reason, when the movie was coming out, and just in general, I always see people lump it in with shows like Family Guy that have really flat animation and just look bad most of the time. And yeah, I mentioned earlier that Bob's Burgers usually sticks to that sort of sitcom framing. But man, people do not give this show enough credit visually. It is a gorgeous cartoon. One of the only points I see made that I can somewhat what understand is that people don't like the art style because the art style is ugly or something. And you know what? I completely agree. For seasons one and two, and that's literally it. Like as soon as season three happened, the show became visually gorgeous. Like guys, it's not season one anymore. They refined the art style. They fine tuned it. It looks real nice now. And especially this last season, I have been praising the expressions and the animation almost every video. And yeah, the animation in the show has always looked good, except for seasons 1 and 2, obviously, as I already mentioned. But like, after that, it always looks good. I just want to point out this scene, okay? This scene right here, in the most popular episode of the entire series, the Bad Stuff Happens in the Bathroom musical number. It's... It's, be it's better than it sounds. Look at the shot variation. Look at this shot with Louise and Bob spinning as they fly up into the air. This sort of shot is more common than you think, and I want you to look me in the eye and tell me it's a bad looking shot. How about this scene with Bob and he's like a cucumber wizard. I, I forget what happened in this episode. I just remember this scene. Look, look how good it looks. This is from one of the least interesting seasons, visually. It looks really good. And do I even need to bring up the cinematic event of the decade? The Bob's Burgers movie looks freaking great. In this year where Puss in Boots The Last Wish also came out, Bob's Burgers still wowed me more because I just wasn't expecting it to be such a, a spectacle. 2D animation deserves to stay alive. Good lord, wish should have been 2D. And in these last couple seasons alone, you have all these Gorgeous episodes. Amelia is one of the most beautiful episodes I've ever seen in a cartoon from a visual perspective. And do I need to mention Radio No You Didn't with its cinematic shot composition? And this one? And also the cowboy one from earlier this season? Uh, okay. I, uh... <laughs> yeah, that was a... That was a, was a weird one, huh? Next week's Bob episode is the Christmas episode. I will not be reviewing it, though. I mean, I will, just not in its own video. I'm going to rank every Christmas special, and I'm going to put the Christmas special in there with them. That'll be the video I upload on Christmas Day, so look forward to that. Set your calendars for Christmas. No one... No one has their calendar set for Christmas. Other than that, I got a big old Disney video coming, so look forward to it. No, it's not a rant on Wish. Everyone else did a rant on Wish. I'm, I'm not... I'm not gonna do a rant on Wish. I'm not I'm not gonna do it. I thought it was 
kind of mid. And hey, as we approach the end of the year, I just want to thank all 513 subscribers I have at the, at the point that I'm recording this. Because, wow, look how fast the channel grew from like the 80 it had before I revived it and started this whole era of the Star Topus. It's been a fun year, and here's hoping I can do it all again next year. Heck yeah. Bye.